Hey, hey everyone, Krellopix here. And today I thought I would delve into a little bit more about something I mentioned in my beaded cross stitch tutorial, and that is the double sided pearl embroidery. Um, and I'm showing this here first as an example of what double sided pearl embroidery should be. So, this here is a little tapestry panel that I made out of Delica seed beads. And, you know, it's just a peyote, this is the peyote weaving technique. And basically, how this resembles pearl, double sided pearl embroidery is that, you know, you weave the beads together and you're supposed to have basically the same image on the front and on the back. Like, it's supposed to be clean. I mean, of course, it'll be reversed, but. You know, you have both sides to work with, and if it's a symmetrical piece, you know, it's going to look the same on both the front and the back. So this is what um, I was expecting. This is what I had learned from the seller's product description and photos and everything. So this is what I was expecting to kind of churn out. So on uh, that seller's uh, product page, I found this uh, really cool pearl double-sided, no, sorry, double-sided pearl embroidery. And this was like the coolest image that they had. Also, of course, again, no surprise for me, the largest image they had. <laughs> so um, I ordered it. You had a choice between beaded cross stitch kit or double-sided pearl embroidery kit. And I double checked that I had selected the pearl embroidery kit and ordered it. I was very excited to finally receive the package. Uh, shipping isn't worthwhile noting. It was, you know, typical two to three weeks, um, typical China shipping. Um, so that is nothing really special to mention. But as you can see here, the package was kind of um, put through bad shape. But I didn't have much concern about it because I knew that, you know, it should have been just beads and, you know, it probably wasn't going to damage anything. So in this box, I got uh, the beads, of course, the pearls and a lot of them. So it was a little heavy, but it was free shipping. So, you know, cool. The pearls and I got uh, like a cross stitch pattern. Uh, this is my copy because I like to cross out as I go along and I got instructions and I got Ada cloth and I was like, oh, that's weird because, you know, I'm not doing cross stitching on to Ada cloth. And I was really confused because I've never heard of this craft before. And I was like, well, how does this work? Um, are you going to be like, is this going to be double sided because you put beads on the front and the back? How does that work? That doesn't really make sense to me. And the reason why I was so confused is because there were no instructions for the double sided pearl embroidery. The instructions here, all in Chinese, which is fine, are for just regular beaded embroidery not what I was looking for, not what I ordered. So I was very, very disappointed in that. And I quickly messaged the seller and I said, hey, I ordered double-sided pearl embroidery. You've sent me this, is this correct? Uh, can you send me instructions on how to do the double-sided pearl embroidery? I told her all of that and she said, yes, keep the canvas because that's just how it comes. And um, she sent me, uh, a video for instructions on how to do the pearl the double-sided pearl embroidery and I watched the video and it was just on how to do beaded embroidery and I said hey lady <laughs> please I asked for a double-sided pearl embroidery and I sent her uh, clips from her product page and it actually says in the description that you know they will send instructions on how to do double-sided pearl embroidery and I said you know here it all is you've said this and you haven't given it to me even though I've ordered this and then she comes back with two videos um, that are on a like Chinese YouTube type site and um, it was very hard 
to watch those videos. Not the fact that it was in Chinese because they actually didn't speak very much. That's fine. But the quality was kind of poor and the angle wasn't exactly the best. And I was like, when I first started watching the video, I was very excited like, hey, that person is using the same kit from this company. Okay, cool. I must be watching the right thing. Finally, let's get on with the show. So I finally, after some time, figured out what I was supposed to be doing. And it was two videos. So I think it was about 45 minutes long worth of videos in the end. But here is the result so far. This is the double-sided pearl embroidery. And I'll get that a little bit closer. And, you know, at first glance, you think it would look very cool. Um, but I am actually quite annoyed at this. I am not enjoying this craft whatsoever. Maybe I will try again with seed beads, you know, something smaller, but as is with these particular pearls, I am not happy. So let me tell you why I'm not happy with the pearls. And these are, uh, this is like the biggest issue that I have with this kit. So these are the pearls and I showed this in the beaded cross stitch tutorial, but these are all the pearls that I've got. And there's 20, yeah, 20 separate colors here. But as you can see here, this black, this black, and this black, they're all quite similar in color. So all three of those blacks are incorporated here and you cannot see a difference. Let me try to get that in the camera. You can't really see a difference. So there's no like gradient or variation there. They all look the same. I was annoyed with that, but I was like, you know, that's okay, tarry on and, you know, keep going. The end result may be awesome. Um, but as I was going on, so after about of an hour of working with these black beads, and because that's where you got to start, you start from the bottom and you work your way up. And because of all the black in here, you know, that's what you're going to be working with primarily. After about an hour, I look at my hands and they were the fingertips were stained black. And I was so annoyed at that. And a little bit came off with washing, but it took about three days for that dye to completely come off of my hands. And that's just from my skin shedding, I believe. So I was very annoyed at that. Um, and to be honest, if I continue with doing the beat it cross stitch instead, and I go to wash the canvas, I have no idea if this is gonna wreck the whole project or not. I think, I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> but these pearls, oh, and I will show you here. This here is where a bead used to be. And I was really annoyed at this as well because I didn't discover this until I had come back across and it was too late to fix this issue. Now, the reason why this happened is that these pearls, which are just really crappy plastic things, like they're very light and I didn't expect real pearls. That's fine. But these are so poorly made that it's it's a bit ridiculous. But anyway, quite a few of these uh, pearls have slits in them. They're not completely closed off. And I'm not going to look at every single bead that I pick up to inspect it for any openings like that. So I had used one of those beads with a slit in it and it eventually came off of the threads. And the nature of this particular weaving technique, I can't move these threads out of the way to replace that bead. Like it will, one, the threads will show, two, it will just not sit right because I can't move them out of the way. So again, really annoyed with that. So that's why maybe I'll give it a try with some better quality beads on down the road. Maybe, maybe. It was very complicated. And when you get to the ends of each side, you have to like skip one and stuff like that. And in the tutorial, she doesn't exactly go over that for the second row. And it's just really confusing. And I was making stuff up as I went. And yeah, it was really annoying. So the other thing about these beads is that um, 
So I've covered how they dye my hands, how they have the splits in them. A lot of them are stuck together. Like, I don't know if I can find one for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So these are stuck together. And you're like, oh, yeah, you know, you just break them apart. But when you break them apart, the finish comes off. And I won't be able to show you. I don't know if you can see it in this particular one here. This one that looks silver is actually supposed to be one of those blacks, but it was a stuck together bead and the finish came off and it just, now it just looks silver on that side. That's just really annoying. So the coating hasn't been done very well. It's not even made out of plastic, like the same color plastic through and through. Each of these beads have been coated with a color, which may be, you know, a more viable solution, but it's not very good quality. So I'm really disappointed. It's the beads that disappoint me the most. Um, but I have this project. I have, you know, all of the supplies and everything, and I want to complete something. So that's why I think that I will just go ahead and do bead across stitch. And since this is quite a bit smaller than the peacocks, I might do this first. I think it will go a lot faster. It's nowhere near, so like the peacock has 600 rows, I believe, whereas this only has like 200 rows, something like that. Yeah, 230 rows and it'll go a lot quicker, I think. And I just kind of want to finish this up and kind of be done with it. Now, whether I, usually you can wash these uh, once you're done cross stitching. So that way you've got a better finished product. This dye will come off. You know, you just wash it, like this dye is water soluble. So you just kind of rinse it in cold water and let it dry and then block it. Um, and I imagine that's the same thing for this one, especially with the beads. You can see these colors quite clearly underneath, I would think. Whether I, rinse it after I'm complete. I don't know because I'm scared that the dye will come off and just stain the whole thing and wreck it. Maybe I can stain it to its where it's more an even stain. I don't know. I really don't know at this point, but it's a pretty picture. It's a nice idea of a project, but there were so many issues with like, you know, the instructions, the quality of the beads, it's just not right for this. So quite disappointed in it, but I think I will, um, yeah, continue as a beat at cross stitch. But let me know what you think. Um, have you, has anybody seen this technique before? Has anybody heard of this? I couldn't find very much information at all because I tried to find my own um, tutorials on how to do this and I couldn't find anything and I didn't know what it was called in Chinese, so I couldn't search that way. And it was just, I couldn't find anything. I have never seen this technique before, but I feel like you could get a better result if you just did this on a loom, to be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's just my thoughts, but let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm not gonna put a link for this in the description box because I, I actually don't recommend this kit. Um, and the seller was really nice, so I don't have a problem with them. I think it's the company, the brand that created this kit in general. But, you know, maybe I just, you know, got the bad one. <laughs> maybe they're really good. I don't know. But I also got um, a little gift in my purchase, some nail stickers, which I'm not going to snub my nose at. Um, they didn't have to include anything, so I did appreciate that. And yeah. Oh, and I didn't show you the thread, I don't think. This spool is a little unruly, that's why I've got the rubber band on here, but I think that's more of an issue with me than the actual thread. But yeah, it's it's a pretty fine, you can't even see it here. It's a pretty fine, well, it's a pretty fine thread. So I thought, oh yeah, this is good for bead weaving because you have to make multiple passes quite often um, through beads for bead weaving. And if you use something as thick as embroidery thread, you possibly can't, you know, do as many passes as you need to. So, I, yeah, this kit was very confusing to me and very disappointing, but there you go. <laughs> That's what I've got. 
and uh, I think once I switch over to doing the beaded cross stitch I will show you guys um, progress pictures and stuff but yeah but I think that's all I've got to say about this it was a big disappointment the end <laughs> But uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope maybe, you know, this gives you some ideas of a craft that you can do. If so, you know, please let me know in the comments if this has inspired you or if you have heard of this before, if you can recommend a better kit or company or way to do this. I am all ears because I thought it sounded really cool. I had even thought about trying to get some of these pearl type beads myself and doing it that way. Because I think it looks nice, it looks different, it doesn't look like regular seed beads or anything like that. So, yeah, I thought it was cool. Happy to hear anything that anybody has to say. And yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Hope you, you, you have enjoyed, but yes, I will see you in the next video. Bye!